Hey, what's going on guys? This is Mike from Mobox and we're back with tutorial number 19 and I'm just gonna show you how to get like some high energy proton effects um, in After Effects. So let me just see here. It looks something like this. See how those are all randomly wiggling around everywhere? Well, uh, I'm just gonna show you how to get that effect. I used to do it by hand and I found out a really easy way to do it. So I'm just gonna walk you through that right now. So we're just gonna go ahead and open up After Effects and jump right into it. Again, I used to do it by hand. I'll show you how I used to do it. And then I'll show you how to, how to get a cool wiggle glowing effect, high energy proton effect. So I believe this is tutorial number 19. In fact, I know it's tutorial number 19 because I actually did number 20 and it was supposed to be number 19, so then I just made it number 20, and now I'm doing 19 again. So <laughs> a layer, new, solid, and that dark color looks fine. So how I used to do it was I would come in here, create my little my little atom or proton or whatever you want to call it, center up the, uh, center, up the center point, or I could hit Y on the keyboard and just drag it in. Um, but I have this little this mo this motion tool. You can get it at mobox.com, I believe, slash motion. So what I would do here is I would set a position keyframe, P on the keyboard, move up maybe 15 seconds, drag it over there, move it over again, 15 frames, move it over there. And I would try to do this as randomly as possible and I would do it for like 20 or so pieces and and it, it never looks random enough and it never looks good and it eats up CPU cycles and it just doesn't look as good. So uh, let's let's make that not as not good. So, <laughs> um, so what you could do is you could search for a tool called Wiggle. I'm not gonna use this, but just so you know, you can use that. What I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna use expressions. I'm just gonna hold Alt on the keyboard and press this little timer and type in Wiggle. Now I've got parentheses there. Inside of these parentheses, um, there's two things that happens. So you have one number comma another number. The first number is how many, is, is, is how many motions between uh, how many motions like per second or per cycle? I'm not sure what the cycle is, but I just know that the higher number, the particle moves more times per unit per unit time. So let's say you had like 20 there. The second number is how many pixels it moves. So a number to get it on and off screen, a good number is about 1200. Um, and you could see here what that looks like. So with just one, you're pretty good. Um, now, if you want to add some glowing effect, like let's assume that this is a high energy proton, you could you could just type in glow and drag it onto the particle, maybe increase the glow radius. Um, maybe, you know, just mess with this until, until you get something that, that looks good to you. Um, so that kind of looks like it's, it's glowing a little bit. When it moves fast, it's, you know, kind of plays to that effect. So what you could also do is you could duplicate this layer. Now, because it's random, they'll all move, they'll all move independently of each other in a weird fashion now, but you'll notice that they kind of like move together. And the reason why they move together is because they all have the same wiggle time in between um, wiggles. So press P on the keyboard and you can start opening these up and you're gonna wanna modify them slightly because otherwise um, it's it doesn't look as random. Alternatively, you could you know, separate them out, but um, that introduces problems in itself. So you might have 10 there. For this one, you might have 15. For this one, you might have 17. For this one, maybe this one's going really fast. Maybe this one's at 30. Um, maybe this one's at 25, and then maybe this one's at 22. But also maybe, I mean, maybe they just move different amounts of pixels. Maybe this moves 2,000 pixels. Maybe this moves, um, 900 pixels, you know, a thousand pixels. Um, you really could do kind of whatever you want to kind of make it look a little more random. Um, but you see that that looks a little more random. Um, the particles don't seem to be so, I guess, um, I guess having have in series or, or you know, all, all rotating at the same time. So anyways, that's just a quick way to get an effect like this without having to do it by hand or doing it with like, you know, complicated you know take up eat, eat up your CPU this this is definitely the better way another thing that I like to do sometimes I like to duplicate this dark layer and kind of put it above every maybe two or three and then decrease the opacity of these to fifth to maybe like 20 actually 
And so that way you kind of get maybe some depth. Some are darker than others. You know, showing that it kind of looks like maybe they're a little bit farther away. They're not as bright. Again, you can modify the glowing if you'd like. But um, this this is just a real quick tutorial. Maybe these maybe there's even too many of these. Maybe maybe that that looks a little more realistic. But that's just kind of high energy particles. You could affect. You could change the wiggle to whatever you want. In fact, if you come in here and change the wiggle to something really short, um, you'll get an idea of what that looks like. So let's say you have this to be maybe two, and let's say you have the number of pixels to like 50. You could see what that what that'll look like. See, it doesn't wiggle too much. You set it to maybe 20 with 50 pixels, and you get an idea of kind of what that's going to look like. Just you increase the number of pixels, and it just moves farther. But Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I know it was really fast and really simple and really, I mean, maybe too simple. But again, it was something that really helps me out. It's something that I I used to do by hand and this saved me so much time. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. Let me know if tutorials that you'd like to see in the comments down below. And anyways, um, check back next Wednesday for another tutorial. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching.